Hey everybody, in this video I'm showing you how to activate on Boost Infinite on eSIM using a new iPhone 14 Pro. This process will work for all eSIM compatible iPhones starting from the iPhone XS and newer. Now the reason I'm making this video is because the activation process for Boost Infinite is a little bit more nuanced than you might think. Boost Infinite of course has their application, but if you open the application and tap get started, you actually need to sign in to an existing Boost Infinite account and you need to create this account using the website. So the correct process for activating your Boost Infinite service is to actually go to beta.boostinfinite.com and I'll leave this linked in the video description. And I guess before we get started, I'll also mention I will be porting a number in this video, so I'll show you exactly what that process is like if you are interested in transferring your number to Boost Infinite. On the Boost Infinite page, you can of course learn more about the service and their available phones and everything like that. To activate your service, go ahead and tap Get Started, and this will bring you through the first part of the activation flow. Boost Infinite gives you two options. You can either bring your own phone or you can buy a new phone. In this example, I'm going to be bringing my own iPhone 14 Pro, so tap bring your own phone. And here you have the option to either get a new number or keep your current number. In this case, I'll be keeping my current number. So select what you want and tap continue. Next, you'll have to enter information about yourself to make sure you're qualified for the service. This includes your address, your email, your first name, your last name, and the last four digits of your social security number. Boost Infinite is a postpaid plan, so they do run a soft credit check to make sure you qualify for the service. With that information entered, tap check now. If you qualify for the service, you'll get a message that says great news, you qualify for the Infinite Unlimited plan, and you can simply tap proceed to checkout. Next, you're gonna enter your payment information. And with that entered, you can go ahead and scroll down and confirm your account info, as well as see a summary of your total charges. Now, the email address up here that you entered is your email address for logging into the Boost Infinite application. So you need to create your account on the website first before you can actually use the app. Now Boost Infinite is asking for your phone number. This is not the phone number that you are porting, but rather any phone number that will simply be a contact phone number for the account. So it doesn't really matter what phone number you enter here. I'll just enter my regular personal number. All right, and with all of that information entered, you can see a full summary of the plan. You can see the price will be $25 a month plus any local taxes and fees. You will get a SIM activation kit shipped to you regardless if you activate on eSIM or physical SIM, which I think should be changed. Uh, there are no taxes or anything due today. It's literally $0. So I guess it's nice the SIM activation kit is free, but it is kind of silly. I actually got one when I activated earlier. But anyway, tap that you agree to the terms and conditions and then tap join now. Okay, what has happened is Boost has now created your account. You can see more information here and you actually get a QR code that you can either scan or tap to go ahead and download the Boost Infinite application. And this is where we jump into the Boost Infinite app to complete the second part of the activation process. Again, I really feel this could be streamlined. A lot of carriers are allowing customers to sign up and do everything directly in the application. Uh, so Boost Infinite hopefully can improve this process in the future. But now that you're in the app, what you're gonna wanna do is tap get started and now you can sign in and you're gonna enter that email you used when you created your online account. And next, Boost Infinite will actually email you a temporary password that you can go ahead and copy and paste using Universal Clipboard on iPhone. There it is. And tap continue to sign into your account. Now you're gonna create your real password, so make sure this is safe and secure. With your password entered, go ahead and tap continue. And there you go, you are now officially in the Boost Infinite application, and you need to enter your phone's IMEI. Now thankfully, the Boost Infinite team made this button, which I think should be more prominent that it's an actual button, where you can tap go to settings, and it will immediately bring you to the settings page where you can scroll down and find your IMEI. So I'm just gonna copy my eSIM IMEI and go ahead and paste your IMEI into the field. Now, one thing I wanna notice is sometimes this done button to go ahead and dismiss that dialer won't be there, so you can't actually continue. So if that's the case, look, if I tap IMEI, look, there's no done button. I can now not dismiss this keyboard, and so I can't continue at all with this activation process. I am literally stuck. If this happens to you, all you gotta do is um, go ahead, you can, Leave, I would leave the IMEI in here, so I'll paste it in, tap the go to settings button, and then go back to the app. The done button should appear, and you can dismiss the keypad, and now you can tap continue to proceed with the activation. 
Seems like a few things they could improve here. And now you have the option again to either get a new number or keep your current number, which makes the website part of this process seem a little bit redundant. Anyway, I'm going to keep my current number. So if you want to do that, tap keep your current number, you're going to select your previous carrier. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of options here. I have US Mobile. It looks like that is not listed as an option. So I'm going to go to other and tap confirm. And now you're gonna enter the phone number that you are transferring to Boost Infinite. And with that entered, you can tap done and then tap continue. And now it looks like you're gonna re-enter your first name, last name, and address that in theory you already entered for that soft credit check. So go ahead and do that now. And with that entered, tap continue. And now you're gonna provide your port out information. This includes your account number and port out pin. And with the correct information entered, go ahead and tap start transfer. This usually takes a couple of minutes but it can take up to 24 to 48 hours. And here on this screen, it says activation in progress. Most activations are completed within a few minutes. If you are keeping your current phone number, it may take up to 24 hours. So definitely be patient. Your previous phone will continue to work until that phone number is successfully transferred over to Boost Infinite. It also says what's next. Ensure your iPhone is updated to the latest version of iOS. And once you receive an activation text from us, please restart your phone. What you're waiting for is a notification from the settings app. You will see a notification right up top that there is an eSIM profile or a cellular plan ready to download and install. And that will come through as a regular notification on your lock screen. So that is what you're waiting for. And it can take uh, kind of an undetermined amount of time. So while I'm waiting for that, I will go ahead and show you the application. This is the Boost Infinite app. It's actually uh, really simple and really clean. You can see at the bottom, a notification number transfer in progress. Explore the app while we set things up. You can go ahead and dismiss that. You can see your bill that will eventually populate with whatever your bill is based on taxes and fees in your area. And you can see your early access infinite unlimited plan. You can see your price, what it includes, your usage. I'm really excited to see that. And eventually your device. You also get your account number on the top, which is easily able to be copied in case you wanted to transfer from Boost Infinite to another provider. And I really like actually the settings section of this app where you have a bunch of options here for your plan, your usage, your bill, your bill history, your payment history. You can edit your personal information, configure your preferences for notifications and privacy settings, change your password, and you can also get help and do the live chat. Let's actually see the live chat. And there you go. This is the Boost Infinite. Looks like customer support in the app. Um, and you can see they have options for activating a phone, billing and payments and troubleshooting. And this will walk you through some automated responses, probably before you're able to connect with an actual representative. But there you go. That is what they're doing. And yeah, the my plan kind of jumps back into that plan page. And you also have that usage page. And this will actually give you, it looks like more details of your usage. It is 30 gigs of high speed data before you are slowed to 512 kilobits per second. And you do get five gigabytes of high speed hotspot data uh, before hotspot speeds are either slowed or shut off. I'm actually not 100% sure yet. But there you go. I'm going to jump back when I get that notification in the settings app and can go ahead and complete this activation. It's now the next day and you can see there is a notification badge on the settings app. And if we check our notifications, yep, we got a notification, finish cellular setup. An eSIM from Boost Mobile is ready to be set up on this iPhone. You can either tap the notification or open the settings app and boom, we're instantly prompted. I'll actually show you, oh, and it looks like it's gone, but I was trying to show you that right here, there was a little badge that said a cellular profile was ready to be installed. Either way, if you accidentally dismiss it like I did, you can just go to cellular and then tap set up cellular. And once this loads, yep, right at the top, you can see a little Boost Mobile eSIM icon. So tap on that and then tap continue. And at the bottom, you can see it say activating, and this is the phone connecting to the network, downloading and installing that eSIM profile and getting your new number or your existing number set up on your Boost mobile device. And there you go, your eSIM will download and install and you can actually see bars in the top of the status bar right now. And once that's done, boom, we get a welcome text. Let's dismiss this, let's tap done. We have our primary, this is gonna be our Boost Mobile number that I actually ported over from US Mobile to Boost Mobile. 
And there we go, it looks like our service is active. We got a notification, your SIM sent a text message. And with everything done, the last step I recommend you do is give your iPhone a quick restart. This really helps to make sure everything is configured properly, including voice, texting, and data. Once your phone is restarted, you can check to make sure everything is working by placing a test call and running a speed test. One thing I've noticed is all new Boost Infinite activations do appear to be activating on the AT&T network, so you can expect AT&T coverage from this plan. And the good news is if AT&T doesn't work in your area, I believe you can reach out to Boost Infinite Customer Service and have them switch you over to the T-Mobile network for coverage. So right now it is one network at a time, but in the future, you should be able to dynamically switch between networks based on what network is providing the best coverage in your area at any given time. That includes the DISH 5G network, the AT&T network, and the T-Mobile network. And it looks like this is having some trouble here, so I'm just gonna quit, and we'll go ahead and start it again. There it is. That's it for this video. Click the like button if you found it helpful, and subscribe so you don't miss more videos on how to save money on your cell phone bill. I'm Stetson, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.